Hi, this is Diane Spencer with Western Computer, and today we're going to go over another tip for how to maximize your utilization of D365 for finance and operations. Today we're going to talk about intracompany accounting. And intracompany accounting would be used whenever you have a transaction that is impact two or more companies. It could be an intercompany adjustment, it could be a transfer, anything that can be done through journals. The example we're going to go through today, we're going to look at the setup and then we're going to look at an example where maybe one company, our main operating company, is paying the payroll and then accruing the employee benefits for all of the other entities and wants to put the expense on the other entity even though the payroll is being paid out of the main company. Let's first take a look at the setup. And if we go to general ledger, intercompany accounting, and you can see here when my computer catches up with me a little bit, that the way we set this up is we have to specify the originating company and the destination company for both the origination and the destination. We have to say, what is the account for the due to transaction? So if a transaction is originating in company DEMF and the intracompany the due to from on the originating company is a debit, it goes to 13330. And if it's a credit, it goes to the other account. On the destination company, it works the same way. If the due to from is a debit in the destination company, it goes to one account and to a different account if it's a credit in the destination company. And then we also specify what is the journal that is created in the destination company. And so the way D365 handles this is it will post the transaction in our originating company and then we'll automatically create a journal with a journal type, journal name of INTJRN in this case, in the destination company. The journal in the destination company automatically posts. One of the questions we get asked is, do you have the ability to not post to the destination company and no, you do not automatically post, which helps in terms of preserving the integrity of your audit trail. So you don't get the situation where in one company it's being posted one way and then it gets changed before it gets posted in the other company. Another quick tip as we are talking about helping reconcile and balance the due to from accounts, and that's where this comes into play and making that reconciliation much easier. If in the general ledger account, if you mark these do to from accounts as not allowing manual entry that helps preserve the integrity of those accounts and makes the reconciliation much easier. New to D365, you used to have to create the scenario where you had this originating account and that destination account, and then you had to manually create the inverse of that. Now in D365, once you create this relationship, you can just click on the icon to create reciprocal relationship and it will automatically be created for you. So let's take a look at how this actually works. So I've gone ahead and entered and posted a journal. So let's take a look at the journal that I've posted here. And look at the lines. And so in this case, it's just a really simple journal where I have our operating company, which is USMF, which is recognizing the liability for employee benefits for $1,000. And then I have the expense going to the destination company to the group dental insurance expense. And you can tell that this is the origination company and this is the destination company. Whenever I hit post, the due to from is automatically created. So let's just take a quick look at that. Take a look at our journal as it processes here. Because I am in the origination company, D365 is rendering up to me the journal entry for the origination company. And so you can see that I've got my credit to the 201140, and then I've got the debit to what I had defined as the debit account on the origination company. Let's double check ourselves and let's go look at our destination company and also look at our posted journals. And we'll also start with the newest to the oldest. So here is our journal. And if we look at that, and then we can see that we have the same transaction, but again, on the destination side. So it hit the dental expense account that we had asked it to hit. And then also credited the account we defined as where the, the automatically created credit to the due to from account 
should be posted. And that is the entirety of what you need to do to post an, an intercompany journal transaction in D365 once you've set up the intercompany accounting. Thank you.